So I teased you with that last video saying that was going to be the last one. No, it's not. There's more. So here we go. So that example. Oh no, no. Have I done it? Uh, no, I go. Yeah, example two. Here we go. So the graph of y equals f of x is shown here. So if that was one over x, it's been translated one to the right and it's been moved up two. So I can actually draw the equation of this one. Just why, why not? So if it's one over x, it's had a translation one to the right. So that's x minus one. And it's also gone up two. So I've got a plus two there on the end there. So that's what that equation is for that graph. Right, so minus f of x. So you're multiplying all the y values by minus one. So if I multiply y, it's like xy now, isn't it? The time we are now. So it's nearly half past eight, so I'm going to be quick. So I multiply all y by minus one. So what I'm saying then is a reflection in the x-axis. So essentially I'm turning it upside down. So if I flip it, I've still got the asymptote of 1, but my asymptote now is at minus 2 here. So if you imagine flipping it over, I've got a graph going there, and the graph essentially going through 0, but I'm not sure. There. There. There we go. Uh, minus 3 is our translation. Minus three, so the x asymptote still the same, but the y one has gone down by three, so now that's at minus one. So I've got the graph cutting, the graph cutting there. Oof. Oh, it says do like the uh, so label the. I've got to come back and do the labeling. Um, no, I should do it now. So we've got an asymptote here y equals minus 2. We've got an asymptote here at x equals 1. That crosses at the origin, so that's okay. You can check that just by putting in 0 and see if you get out. Uh, this one's got an, or that's got an asymptote at x is 1. That's got an asymptote at y is minus 1. Uh, if you check it, because it's gone down by uh, 3, that's going to be minus 3. Last one's a bit of a squidgy one, isn't it? Because it's a stretch parallel to the x-axis. It's so got a factor of third, cramming three times as much graph into the x-axis. So I'm plotting my x values a third of the way across. So my y stays the same at two. So that's still y is two. But my asymptote, that needs to be a third of the distance now. Third. So that's x is a third. Same shape graph. Uh, there. It still goes through zero. There. Is that us done? So it's write down a possible equation for y equals f of x. Uh, oh, I've done that already up there, looks like. So it was... 1 over x minus 1 plus 2. It's got to be some consolidation now, hasn't it? In class, I do like a big bubble thing in the middle with a picture, and we do all of them all around it, so it's just a recap. So don't worry about it. Uh, have fun, or I hope you've had fun doing them. So, brilliant. <laughs> See you later.